the boy touched water, his wounds were miraculously restored because he was the son of Poseidon, the god of the sea. Because life in the world of the gods was so boring, Poseidon descended to the mortal world, fell in love with a human, and gave birth to a demigod. Poor Percy had never met his Poseidon father, and his stepfather was a drunken rascal, until the day Zeus realized his artifact lighting had been stolen. And for some reason, he thought it was Poseidon's son who had done it. So he approached Poseidon and told him that if he didn't hand over the lighting within 14 days, he'd send his son to hell. Then, a fury showed up directly in the mortal world and attacked Percy at the school. Fortunately, Poseidon had already arranged to guardians around Percy, who were Percy's teachers and classmates, and the two of them drove a fury away. They brought Percy to the seminary, and he realized it hadn't been a dream. He scoped around the academy and was soon attracted to the attention of the daughter of the goddess Athena. In an academy battle, he relies on the power of Poseidon to gain the favor of the goddess. And what happens next? 